Of course, one of the big topics surrounding COVID-19, the shortage of personal protective equipment, including N95 respirator masks. But what if you could preserve them in a sanitary way? A Yale doctor is working on that. Difficult times call for creative solutions. And the Yale New Haven Health System is working on the preservation of those masks. The first way would be implementing what's called cluster care. If we can have um, nurses and doctors um, go into a patient's room um, fewer times than they might normally do it and still provide great care, we're going to do that. Of course, many medical professionals are using the N95 masks multiple times during the course of a day and then throwing them away, which is not necessary. For that respirator to be an effective filter still exists at the same time that they're getting thrown in the trash. So now, in case the supply of these N95s runs critically low, they're finding ways to reprocess and keep these masks in circulation. Methods that have been investigated um, are everything from ultraviolet light uh, to sterilize the respirators, um, even heat sterilization. But with a heat treatment, the masks would lose their form and they must remain tight. So they've employed the same process used to fumigate a hospital room. The machine is used to create a vapor of hydrogen peroxide throughout the room. Um, and it's incredibly effective at killing um, pathogens. So the idea was to repurpose this equipment and to fill the room with N95 masks. And it worked in removing any of the viruses from the masks. And even earlier tests were promising. After 50 reprocessing cycles, which is not something we would plan on doing, but even after 50 cycles, the filtration efficiency was intact. Encouraging words in a time of such uncertainty. In New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. All right, Tony, thank you. We want to remind you the.